Well, welcome to my beautiful home here in Oakland. I am as proud of these gorgeous gardens as I am of my home on Juniper Street. My name is Rebecca Alexander, and I'd like to be remembered for always putting family first. Alongside my family are my faith and my deep commitment to Atlanta's Jewish community. Now, there are those out there who will tell you that I'm a bit overbearing. That's ridiculous. In fact, I do have high standards, which I hold myself and my family to. You know, it's not easy being an exemplary role model, but well, somehow I manage. Now, the only way to begin a story is to start at the beginning. I was born Rebecca, Alex, Rebecca Solomons in Savannah, Georgia in 1854. And anyone will tell you, family has always been of the utmost importance to me. My mama, she doted on me her entire life, which caused a group of people to call me spoiled. As you can plainly see, I am simply delightful. But to me, life in Savannah was perfect. And being the committed family woman that I am, I couldn't fathom the idea of going to college for fear of being homesick. In fact, I am so family oriented. I married my first cousin. <laughs> now, that is not unheard of in my day. It doesn't look so shocked. But Julius and I had a wonderful, happy marriage. In fact, it still is. My Julius is buried right alongside me. But the Alexanders came from Atlanta. And I was so afraid that I would be desperately lonely, leaving my childhood home. So as soon as I got here, I set to work building my new family who were going to live up to my high expectations while my husband was busy becoming a highly respected businessman. Now, Julius's father, Aaron Alexander, was the very first American-born Jewish gentleman to settle here in Atlanta in 1848. By the 1850s, Atlanta was 2,600 strong, with only 26 being Jewish. By the 1850s, the 60s, that had doubled. By the 1870s, when we arrived, the Jewish community was still quite small. Imagine coming to a town of several thousand where everyone knows everyone and every family is connected. They welcomed us with open arms and I realized Atlanta truly is my new home. So I set to work showing my new family that they could be proud of me while I also tried to secure our place in society. Now, unfortunately, not every organization accepted Jewish members. So we created our own organizations and we carved out our own spaces in which to thrive, to support one another, to give back. In 1895, I helped to establish the Atlanta chapter of the National Council of Jewish Women. Our guiding principle, justice, justice you shall pursue. We worked hard every day, helping those most vulnerable of Atlanta citizens, women, children, families. And I am proud to say that the council's still active today, helping those most vulnerable people here in Atlanta. It is remarkable as I look back, how many of our early Jewish citizens actually helped to shape our city. If you look, well, you really can't see it, but take my word for it. There's a mausoleum over there, Joe Jacobs. He was in on the ground floor of Coca-Cola in the earliest of days. A little up the hill from him, Morris Rich, Rich's department store, founder. 
and just beyond him, the mausoleum of Jacob Elsas, who founded the Fulton Bag and Cotton Mill and established Cabbage Town for where his mill workers could live. What an amazing gathering of people. What an amazing effect it had on the history of this city. As proud as I am of being part of that vibrant community, I'm even prouder of my two sons, Henry and Cecil. Henry, I always said, was solid as a judge. Cecil was a lively as a cricket into all manner of mischief. They kept me on my toes when they were young. I kept them on their toes when they were grown. But now we're all here together in our eternal home. Remember, there's nothing more important than family. Now, I would love to accompany you on your journey tonight, but I really don't want to stray too far away from home and family. And besides, there's more guests coming our way. And well, it's only right that I be here to greet them. After all, even in death, one must maintain one's standards. But you come on back and visit. I'll be here to see you. Good night.